Bonjour à tous et bienvenue à cette présentation sur Curie. My name is Arturo Vela. I'm a medical doctor and I'm a aesthetic cosmetic practitioner based in Mexico City. And today we're going to talk about Guri, which is a real anti-aging through collagenesis on the entire face. So Guri is a new type of liquid PCL uh, injectable, which is fundamental for the anti-aging. So to understand uh, more about the aging process, we have to understand all the changes that comes in the skin and also in the structure of the face. So we start with the one structures they have uh, they suffered to this remodulation. Uh, we will have less density of uh, bones. Also, the ligaments, they have this increased laxity. And there's going to be uh, increased tonus and rigidity of muscles. Uh, this has to do with the inner and the deeper layers. Then we have the fat deflection and increased laxity of skin. So we have here in this image the triangle of beauty of the triangle of feud. So we can see this inverted triangle will give us this beautiful and young look. And as we age, we'll have this inverted triangle uh, as a normal triangle actually. And that's the, the part that we can see in a beautiful and young face. Here's another example of the inverted triangle of youth. And here we have the fat redistribution. When we talk about the fat redistribution, we can see in this image that we have at 35, uh, 45 and 55 years old, how the subcutaneous fat layers, they became, uh, they, they have these changes. So they, they can be moved or they have also, they can have some kind of hypertrophia, but uh, we can see that we have less and less and less subcutaneous fab compartments. So we have two uh, subcutaneous fab compartments, the, the ones that are the superficial and the deep ones, and the superficials are the ones that change with the weight changes. And the inner ones are the non-superficials, they are the only ones that change with age and they have this redistribution. So to understand this, we have the collagen. We have that the collagen is a fiber and it has its uh, small fibers and these small fibers that will have this triple helix structure uh, alongside with the amino acids. And these collagen fibers, they will have and they will suffer these changes through the years. So the collagen is a structural protein. We have 28 types of collagen, but the most important ones are the collagen type one and the collagen type three. So the collagen type one is the most abundant in the skin. Also, we have it in muscles, we have it in bones, we have it in some other organs, but in the skin it's very abundant and it comes and it has 85 to 90%. Then we have the collagen type three, which has the, which is 10 to 15%, but it's not a mature collagen. This collagen type three, it's the type of collagen that we start building through an inflammatory process such as scar process. So when we turn 25 years old, we start the decrease of collagen. And this decrease comes um, at 1.5 per year, and it's affected by many, many factors such as genetics and the, the, the principal ones are the factors uh, that we have outside, the factors such as sun exposure or um, pollution also. And also the lifestyle such as how we feed, uh, if we drink or we smoke, it's also being affected by collagen. So, the collagen is produced by fibroblasts and in this image we have also these three stages and how we see the collagen alongside with the elastin that these two proteins will have this uh, like a mortar and brick so will give a structure and we have a real nice proportion but through 
the aging process through the changes in in in, in age, we will have that this structure will become very um, the structure will change and the proportions. So instead of having lots of collagen, we'll have less collagen. And instead of having a beautiful structure collagen, we'll have this non that beautiful structure in collagen. And also part of this has to do uh, with the hyaluronic acid that also will give us this hydration in the skin. So uh, the collagen in this image, we have uh, the fibroblasts, the collagen fibers, and the elastin fibers, and how they will give this structure, firmness, and elasticity to the skin. Uh, so here, uh, an image and uh, a reminder how this triangle of you, this collagen, will be reduced through the years. Uh, and I picked this example of this beautiful and talented actress that she is still beautiful, but we can see the changes through the years. So what is Goody? Well, Goody is the first type of liquid PCL injectable. So the polycaprilactone, it's a, it's a, sorry, first here. So it's a premium collagen stimulator, Goody. Uh, when we talk about our premium, we talk about this liquid form of PCL. We don't have to see uh, the carboxymethyl cellulose in this product. So it's total liquid, fully solubilized, and having these characteristics will spread to the skin. And we'll talk more about this, but uh, we know that this PCL is uh, premium because that's the main characteristic that it's fully solubilized form of PCL. So uh, the polycaprilactone, it's it becomes with the needings of anti-aging, with the production of collagen, and having this biodegradable uh, polyester, uh, it comes with some characteristics such as. The PCL is bioabsorbable in the skin, it's biodegradable and biocomfortable. And the main characteristic is that it's non-toxic for to the human body. So, and how we get rid of this collagen? We know that this product, uh, Goody, the PCL, fully solubilized, will stay in the skin for one year, sometimes more than that, but will be bioabsorbable through the hydrolysis, uh, what, which in contact with the water will go through these um, uh, changes in the, in the lungs and we will, it will become CO2 on oxygen and will be absorbable uh, on the body. So uh, what makes us different uh, what makes Goody different, and it has a unique technology that it's called CESABP. So this means collagenesis enabled solubilized active biodegradable polymer. So with this technology, this solubilized polymer will spread on the skin, on the entire skin, and also uh, that is that characteristic of being soluble, solubilized. And we'll spray an entire skin and will give us this liquid facelift, as they call it. So the mechanism of action uh, has to do a lot of with the neocollagenesis. So when we inject Goody, we have to inject it in the subcutaneous uh, compartments. And when we inject it, Goody will smoothly spread into the skin. When it comes to the skin, it will spread and as it comes in a liquid form, we'll create this uh, 3D matrix that this uh, web of, uh, of, of Goody, of PCL form uh, solubilized, will stimulate the fibroblasts. And stimulating the fibroblast will create new collagen and will improve the skin elasticity and will give us this final result, which is the facial lifting. 
So here is an image of a competitor or other brands in the market that they have these microparticles and they have to be injected with 26, 27 uh, gauge needles. And they have the polymer, the PCL microparticle also with a carrier. We could eat, we are different. We have this fully solubilized form of PCL that we don't need to have any carrier. We don't need to be a microparticle between 25 to, uh, to 50 micro, micro size. So uh, this fully solubilized form of PCL will create this 3D matrix. And creating this 3D matrix will spread into the skin. So here's uh, an image of histological, histological cuts of the changes of the skin thickness. And here's the control at the left, and then we have Goody on the right uh, at one, two, four, and six weeks. And we can see how uh, the collagen and the subcutaneous layer will change and will give this thickness to the, to the, to the skin. So Gorgeous Goody comes in a, a beautiful box, as you can see, and a pre-filled pre syringe. And here is, uh, uh, here is the, 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 the injection. So we have that it comes in a white liquid. Uh, because of the characteristics of the PCL and it's very ergonomic, very, very easy to use. There's no uh, complication with the injection. And other thing that it's uh, very important to this is that we can inject it with 30 ne needle uh, gauge needle. So because it comes liquid. And when we talk about goodie and how to inject it, we have to be very conscious about where we can inject it. So goodie can be injected under the eyes, which is a very great characteristic because with other polymers, we cannot inject under the eyes and we cannot inject in the forehead. So with goodie, we can inject under the eyes and this is the protocol that we have, and we can inject uh, one point, two points in the forehead, uh, two centimeters above the eyebrows in the mid pupillary line, and we inject 0.2 cc's of the product. Then we can go um, to the under eye area, also 1.5 to two centimeters uh, next to the cantus and also below the mid pupillary line. And here we also inject 0.2 cc's. So this will spread. It won't stay in the same, in the place where you inject it. That's uh, another uh, great characteristic of Goody because we are giving volume, but not at the moment. We're giving volume through the process of new collagen. Then we have the mid phase protocol where we inject three points, as you can see um, in the cheeks. And you go uh, in this part around, sorry. Uh, and you go and put three points of each one of them, 0.2 cc's per point, and make this inverted triangle, the youth of triangle, to inject uh, goody. So that's the protocol, and as I said, you have to inject it uh, in a subcutaneous fat in a subcutaneous layer. Uh, the technique has to be with thirty gauge needle, and you can go between forty five to ninety degrees. It all depends in each uh, characteristic of your patient. So. Uh, as I said, the application part, we don't need multiple multiple injection points. We only need five per side or 10 uh, in a whole phase. Uh, we don't need to shape the application. This is not a yellow rock acid 
filler. So we don't have to give this uh, form and, and sculpture to the face. It will act by itself. And the soft massage is enough to up to the application. We don't have to be very encouraged to massage just something very soft. Uh, it's, it's needed. So the protocol, we recommend three applications uh, every four week, weeks interval. And so after these three applications, we can give, uh, give another one or one or two more applications. But it all depends in every patient conditions. Uh, at the end, you have to individualize all your patients. But for a natural or an easy patient, we just give uh, three, three applications uh, every four weeks. But if there's a saggy, very old face, we have to give another one or probably another one after three to six months. So the indications for Goody, it's for everyone. So Goody, it's uh, fundamental for the care through the entire face rejuvenation. And as we said, it's the first liquid type of injectable of PCL form. And we indicated when you start losing collagen. So uh, when we don't have to use uh, Goody, so it's very important to know if you are allergic to some of the compounds. Uh, the main compound of uh, Goody, it's PCL. So if you're allergic to PCL, so that's not uh, an indication. Also, we have to avoid Goody when there's uh, an active skin condition, such a bacterial or fungus or some other infection or other active reaction that you have in the face, in the skin. So that's another contraindication. And it's not recommendable when you are pregnant or you are under lactation, as many other injectable products. And when you have uh, some uncontrolled metabolic disorders, such as diabetes. And also we have to be very careful with the autoimmune disease, such as lupus. When they are in their active form, we cannot use goodie. If there's an autoimmune, autoimmune disease that it's controlled, uh, okay, go ahead and just be very careful and and in in how to to use the product. So just to finish with the with the cases uh, with the presentation, we will give you some medical cases that we we, we have been working through uh, with Goody. So. This is uh, one of my cases, and you can see the before and after treatment, left to right. And here it's this patient with three sessions at four weeks interval. So we can notice here in the cheekbone area or the malar area how the structure, it's very soft, the skin quality, uh, it's better. And you can see the structure that it comes very natural and how uh, the triangle of youth it's become inverted. So you see in the first image how the triangle gave us gave him this square face and then you have this beautiful inverted triangle face. And you can see also in the nasolabial folds how the, it's been acted and how it looks less less and less. Uh, here's another example of one of my cases, and you can see also here uh, the inverted triangle. You can see that the cheeks are more high, and this is uh, before and after two sessions only, uh, two weeks interval. So we have a really, really nice um, result in this one. In this picture, it's... Uh, it's beautiful because I, I really like it because you, you can see in the first image in the left one in the before treatment how the face looks so saggy. The skin quality is not that good. And you can see in the second picture in the after treatment how the patient has these higher cheeks and the skin quality looks so, so good. 
I know you can still see, which is very noticeable, the nasal labial folds, but that's so genetic. But you can see in the entire face how she looks so uh, the structure, how the structure has changed. Here's another example of the same patient, and you can see the higher cheeks. And we have here another case of this uh, patient after two sessions in two weeks. And again, you can see the cheeks. It's very noticeable. Uh, and I know she has a square face structure, but here we can see the inverted triangle too in this image. Uh, this is a beautiful case that I really, really like. And it's... Uh, you can see the skin quality. Yeah, it's been four sessions. It's been one session after the other one with one more interval. But you can see here the skin quality, how it has changed and how's, how it's been given a lot of a structure in the cheek. And Goody acts in, in memory with, with, the, with the collagen. So Goody doesn't create extra collagen. Could it create your own collagen, the collagen, the collagen that you used to have? And here's another case. Here's a, or here's another case by Dr. Giong. And we have here uh, after 12 weeks, three months, it's only one session. Yeah, it's been combined with hyaluronic acid, HA but you can see how the wrinkles have disappeared and how the skin quality has been improved. And in the second image, you can see also all the, all the improvements that this, patient's has, this patient has had. So, uh, merci beaucoup. Thank you so much. Um, I'm so, so here are my social media. If you have any other further question, you have a protocol that you want to recommend, uh, be free to write me. And thank you so much, AMWC. Congratulations for this Congress. And I wish you the best. Thank you.